Blech. We know that Glenn Danzig is a lot of things, guys. He is a lot of things. He's a musician. He's a singer. He's a songwriter. He plays guitar, bass, drums. He plays the piano. He's a composer. He is a writer. He is a director. He is an actor. He was a record label owner and runner. He's a graphic artist. He's a photographer. And he does illustration. He runs a comic book company. He's an art dealer. For better or for worse, he does it all. It's really kind of weird to think that Glenn Danzig was also a movie critic. That's right. Glenn Danzig, for a period of time in the early 80s, wrote these tiny little movie blurb reviews for Flipside Magazine. Ugh. If you don't know what this one is, what the fuck you doing here? What does he say about Liquid Sky? So Liquid Sky, I mean, for those of you who know, within cult film, you have the, the midnight movie. These are movies that played in theaters at midnight. There's the only time that you could see them, and they were for a very special type of audience that understood these misunderstood films. And you had films that were just intentionally quirky and weird. And you had films that were unintentionally quirky and weird and both had the same sort of midnight cult status. A great example is The Room. The Room was not made to be a cult, weird, quirky midnight film. It tries so hard not to be that it becomes that. That's why, you know, people were, when people were reviewing Veronica, they were talking about The Room. They were saying it's the room of horror movies. What does Glenn have to say about Liquid Sky? This is the underground rage in New York City at the moment. Right, because at the time, Liquid Sky was huge in the early 80s. Playing to sell out crowds. So that's probably why he went to see it, because you know he was tapped into that pulse. This is more hype than anything. So what's all the fuss about? It's just an artsy, fartsy, new wave piece of pap with a supposed chick cast, overacting boredom, and disgust for life. It tries to be about an alien life form that feeds off the brain at the moment of experiencing a heroin rush or orgasm. But then the dialogue and special effects or the lack of make this just another unbelievably terrible movie. The budget must have been minimal as the flying saucer in this makes the one in Plan 9 look like the alien ship in Close Encounters. Even though this is an R, it contains little violence and no, not one speck of blood. So in two of these movie reviews, he's mentioned Marilyn Monroe and Plan 9. So it's like, that's kind of funny. 